Hello everyone, Relgan here again. Today I want to show you guys um, that the Free Roach opener can still be played and even in the year 2021, right? We had a lot of balance changes, but the Free Roach opener surprisingly wasn't affected um, very much. It actually got a little bit better, but I also changed up the build. So I'm going to talk to you uh, talk you guys through the um, early parts of the build and this time we're going to play a non mutalist version I'm going to show you guys a timing that You can play with the free roach opener instead of showing you guys the free roach into mutalist like the usual stuff that we have We're going to play it a little bit So I start off with uh, 16 pool was a 13 overlord then three drones and I built a pool then another drone <laughs> And one more drone that I sent to the natural, that's when I'm uh, when I have my main base saturated, 16 out of 16. 17th drone goes to the natural, 18th drone goes to the gas, 17th drone builds the hatch, and then the other 17th supply drone builds the gas. I built two more drones instantly, rally them to the gas. Queen as soon as I can, and links shortly thereafter. All is well. As we know it, then I built the Roach Warren before I built anything else. And here's a slight deviation. Usually we would build two more drones and then the Overlord. <clears throat> I figured it's actually better to build the Overlord than drone drone. The reason for that is when this queen is done, I want this Overlord to be done. So I can immediately start the next queen. <clears throat> so the queen pops. In check, the Overlord is done. And I start the next screen. A slight delay, could have done it faster, and then I built two more drones. Right, I'm not really focusing too much on the links. They were trying to kill the scouting SCV. <clears throat> I think they didn't get it. Natural is almost done. Roach Warn is, Roach Warn is almost done. My opponent is just going for Barracks Factory. Pretty standard stuff from him. My links are going for a little bit of harassment. They actually get the SCV. Very lucky. Trying to deny the Reaper at home with my queen. Not sure what I do. Do I inject? Yes, I inject. And then I send the second queen that pops into the natural. Three drones are, uh, three roaches are being built right now. You want to build the one in the natural first and then the two more in the main. And of course, as soon as the natural was done, I started a queen and then I started droning. At 36 out of 36, I built an overlord. You can also build an overlord earlier. It doesn't really matter a whole, but whole lot. You just want to build the three roaches first and then... I mean, I don't know, I'm a little bit supply blocked here, but if you check the unit tab, I, my larva just barely uh, goes above 6. And then uh, my overload already pops, so it doesn't really matter. Roaches go across the map. As soon as I can, I start the lair in the main base, usually around the 3 minute 05 to 3 minute 10 mark. Roaches luckily found the reaper. I kind of uh, expected him to go there. <clears> Tom, <throat> I'm just droning. 3 minutes 30, I already get my next gas. This uh, queen is spreading some creep. I'm actually trying to get some damage done. It uh, is. It doesn't always work, but 3 roaches are enough to one-shot both marines and SCVs. So I'm able to get a couple kills. Sadly, that uh, one survived with a little bit of HP. Overall, harassment, decent, not too good. Uh, I think it was a fairly even exchange. You don't have to commit into the bunker. Usually if my opponent does build a bunker, I do not build the roaches at all. But for the uh, sake of this game, to show you guys a nice replay, I built the roaches anyways. Because I assume you guys are gonna going to build the roaches. You can instead just thrown up and ahead. When the lair is done, immediately morph the overseer. Also went up to 4 gases total right here. You can also play this build with 3 gases only. I only have 2 drones in this gas, slight mistake. Let's go back a little bit so we can have a look at this time. We were focusing on the roaches, so now I'm going to focus on what's happening at home. Go back once more. So this is when the roach arrest stops. The lair will be done. Second gas gets taken. Fourth gas gets... Uh, third gas gets taken. Fourth gas gets taken. Roach speed is started. Overseer is made, so I can do some scouting. What I'm looking forward with this overseer is a starport. I want to know if my opponent is building a starport. And if I see Marine Hellion like this, I'm not really sure. The important aspect of the starport is, does it have a tech lab? If it has a tech lab, I need to build a Spire and go for either Mutas or Corruptors against Banshees. Or go for Corruptors against Battlecruise. 
So I want to see if does it have a tech club? If yes, um, is there a fusion core? If no, okay, I already know that I have to deal with Benji if the tech club is researching. So the marine gets sent in to scout. At home, I droned up my natural, and actually, my my droning isn't optimal here, but it doesn't really matter, right? My, I built the last two drones a little bit late. The reason why I was rushing out these roaches is because I know he has hellions, and I'm a little bit scared of a of a hellion attack. So I prefer to build the roaches earlier rather than later, because if you get attacked by hellions and you don't have the roaches ready, you're going to lose a lot more. Now I'm already preparing my transition in this game by building the double evolution chamber. Here you can see the roaches fight the hellions. Six roaches are enough to one shot the hellions, so six roaches is usually the count that you want. Now in this game we will go back a little bit once again. What I scouted is a starport with no tech lab, I see barracks, I see a factory with no tech lab and I see a third command center. In, if my opponent does not go super tank heavy, and even if he does go tank heavy, I'd like to go for a Roach Ravager push that I'm going to show you guys now. This is kind of the modern Roach version. There, there are stronger versions that I'm playing, but I think this is the easiest to execute. So, Roaches come, Roaches kill. And the supply already shows you, guys, shows you that I'm way ahead. I just walk up here, trying to do some damage. I see that he doesn't have enough uh, defense here. Without the plus one damage upgrade, his marines also don't deal a whole lot of damage. I'm not getting my upgrades yet. Upgrades are very important. I'm actually behind in upgrades. But with his uh, lack of defense here, I figured I can just make some ravagers. Go for the kill and do a lot of damage. If, if I fail to kill him here, I'm already preparing at home by droning up. I also have a lot of overmains, so I could have started my upgrades, but I kind of felt like he was gonna die anyway, so I stopped playing a bit and just enjoyed my victory. But yeah, it's as easy as that. Now, I know you're going to ask, well, when I attack, my opponent already has four tanks ready. If he has four tanks ready, you're kind of late. But even if he has only like two tanks, um, you can easily b kill them with Ravager biles. And yeah, hope this replay will uh, help you guys. Replay will be linked in the, in the description of the video down below if you want to copy it. Um, and I think this is a very, very easy style to play. Two base, saturation, start spamming Roach Ravager. Push out, try to hit as soon as you have Roach speed. And you can always transition at home by building a Spire, go for Corruptors <coughs> against drops, getting the, the Evolution Chamber upgrades, droning up your third base and taking your fourth base. And just kind of playing a normal game but the point was to show you guys how to play a roach push after a free roach open. watching <laughs>